Hey guys, Young Blood with you, and basically I am now approaching Art Corp Mining Area 141 on the surface of Daymar. You'll notice that there are landing pads available. Um, I'm not actually going to land on either of these just because I want to have both pads available. Um, but these are the locations I was talking about in the previous video that actually will allow you to have a little bit more um, options as far as what you can do. So I'm going to go ahead and land, and we are going to show you how to actually take a dragonfly out. By the way, if you're noticing questionable audio, it is primarily surrounding the fact that I am recording a video and um, rendering one at the same time, trying to get you guys as much content as possible. So you're going to notice there's some kind of weirdness that's actually taking place, um, including my ship jumping off the ground <laughs> and causing me to hit the ground. So I got some blood loss. I hit V. <laughs> Uh, and that ended up being a situation where I needed my, um, I guess, medi pen. So make sure you're always uh, repurchasing those at Alazar when you spawn. So um, when you're at one of these locations, you're going to notice that there's several different places you can go. Um, you know, basically all of them offer a little bit, including some cargo aspects. Um, but typically there's one that's kind of standing alone where you have some uh, spawning options, including a window facing the landing pads to give you a good idea that that's the one you actually want to go to in order to pull a vehicle. Alright, so once you're here, you're going to notice there's a lot of different options. You know, the building there, building there, building there, and a building here. If you want to pull a ship, there's a couple different places you can actually go to do one, but the one I always look for is the one that's kind of got blue trim on it. It's got a window on the side, it's close to a landing pad. Generally, that's going to be the best place where you can grab a ground vehicle or you can spawn an actual ship from this location, which makes things pretty easy. But basically, I always look for blue. So we're going to go ahead and go in. And you'll notice two pads here, or I guess two ASAP terminals like we generally have on Port Alizar. So use inner thought. Let's open it up and let's go ahead and grab ourselves a dragonfly. It's going to tell you that it shows up on landing pad. Okay. And there it is. So let's go out to that ship. We're going to cycle the airlock. And we're going to jump on this bad boy. So Dragonfly looks exactly like you'd expect it to. I've got the yellow jacket. So looking around, you can see you've got cargo here. Um, basically on the back here, you've got 0.25 on each side, SCU. And then if you decide to bypass, you can end up using the second seat in order to actually attach another 0.5 of SCU. So we're going to mount the pilot seat. And just like before, you're going to hit F5 just to do a uh, you know flight ready mode and be ready to fly. Now a lot of times it is going to end up acting weird and spawning on its head. These things are wonky. So once you're actually on your dragonfly, things become a little bit more complicated because the ship itself is a little bit squirrely. Ultimately, what you want to do is you want to use your right hand. So whether that's your mouse, whether it's your joystick, it doesn't matter. You want to be able to keep your nose up as much as possible because if you end up getting into a situation where your nose ends up kind of diving into the ground, you can kind of flip over. You end up crashing into the ground a lot and it becomes complicated. So regardless, once you're actually on the dragonfly, start slow use your you know use your throttle use your um, you know your keyboard use your um, left joystick it doesn't matter but start slow and kind of figure out how to move you're going to hit the ground while you're learning how to actually fly this thing because it is very strange I suggest you get around some rocks and actually move around and see how things go 
Once you get a little bit more comfortable, go ahead and jump up to speed. Um, you'll notice that you are then going to typically want to nose down based on the way the ship flies. Try and combat that using your throttle. Outside of that, it flies basically like you would expect it to. It's going to actually use the uh, you know yaw like you would want to. You still have your firing the way you were expecting it to. The main difference here is you're not going to lift off the ground and go into space. Like here I'm just totally nosing up and it's not necessarily doing what I would expect it to if I was in a normal ship because you're on a ground vehicle. And that's how the way it's actually classified. So start slow, small movements, and then you get to kind of figure out how the thing actually handles. Now you do have two additional options. You've got boost if you want to use it. If you hit the ground like I just did there, go ahead and just kind of slow down, get your bearings, and then start going. You can use boost, which I'm doing now. You'll notice the speed is greatly increased, but you'll also notice that actually managing flight becomes a lot more challenging. And then you also have an afterburner option available to you. So boost is more about um, acceleration. Woo! Going too fast. There we go. Um, afterburner is actually going to be about um, pure speed. So we're afterburning right now. You'll notice, there we go, that's what I wanted to show you. Things become a little bit more dangerous. So should you find yourself upside down, just move a little bit, then try and level your ship out once you're actually above the space. Sometimes you'll bug out and actually end up in kind of mid-flight like this. That's okay. Um, it's going to be very challenging to hit the ground because you can't actually adjust your up and down too much. Um, if you get really stuck, go ahead and just turn off your engines. You'll fall down to the planet and generally be okay. Um, but ultimately, tips for flying a dragonfly. Go slow. Uh, kind of figure out where you, what your bearings are. Play around with it. Get comfortable with how it flies because it is not like you would expect it to be.